Hey guys, how's it going? So the wonderful world of stamps is here in Anno 1800, and we now have the ability to save and quickly copy and paste any of our blueprints that we want for our favorite layouts. You guys have voted and decided you wanted to see some all-in-one layouts from me. Now these stamps are going to be available over on my Discord server in the Stamps and Layouts forum section. They will be in a zip file containing all the ones for the different residential tiers. This first video will be focused on the farm Armor tier. Now, if you're not sure how stamps work, it's very, very easy. Stamps will be located under My Documents or your Documents folder, under Anno 1800, and under Stamps. And then they are divided into the different regions, Old World, New World, Arctic, and so on. And underneath there, you can see all the different ones. Now, the way the zip files will be zipped, you can easily go and find them without having to do any uh, browsing to figure out where they need to go. All you have to do is unzip the zip file straight under Documents Anno 1800, and they will go where they need to. Once you have done that, they are simply available in the game at the bottom under Stamps, and you can select all the different ones you want to take a look at. So with that, let's get started and take a look at some of these stamps. So the first one we're going to take a look at is work clothes. Work clothes, very easy stamps right here. I have two different ones for you here. I have a basic work clothes stamp. This one right here includes uh, four framework knitters and four sheep farms already laid out. No silos or anything on this one. It's just a very quick and easy setup right here to get some work clothes going. Obviously, you could also uh, hit blueprint if you don't want to put this all down just yet, and you can blueprint it and then uh, upgrade as needed whenever you need a particular one built for yourself. So feel free to blueprint these and upgrade as necessary when you need more stuff. This next one is a work clothes, but this one has silos on it. It only has two sheep farms included. Both of these have silos and four framework knitters yet again. Now, if you want to eventually electrify these flame framework knitters, then you'll simply just need to add either more silos or take away two framework knitters because these two would uh, actually have to keep these two because they are within the road network. Unless you put a bounding road on the outside, however you want to electrify those is up to you, but you can modify this as needed for electricity. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at a timber layout. Now, there's only one timber layout at the moment that I am using. Uh, it's a very simple one. Timber is one of those things that I typically end up just importing lots of it through Docklands. And so I don't ever need a lot of timber. Uh, but this is a very simple layout right here. It's great for early game. It gets you started. It gives you four lumberjack huts and four sawmills around a single warehouse right here that's warehouse you might need to upgrade when you have the ability to upgrade it to handle additional traffic but this one right here is kind of a typical layout i always do for my sawmills in the early game before i can start importing it via docklands next on the list we have schnapps we have two schnapps for you right here we have a basic schnapps setup just a very simple one. This includes four distilleries and four potato farms. Doesn't take up a whole lot of room. Uh, this will give you enough schnapps to supply a fair number of farmers and workers. And a nice little ring around a warehouse. Not too shabby. Very, very easy to do. Now, this next one is a bit more of an interesting one. This is my high yield schnapps. This one's going to look a little crazier. All right, here we go with the high yield schnapps. Now, this one right here includes four, eight, 10, 12 distilleries, 12 distilleries, as well as a number of, uh, so we got four potato farms and each potato farm has tractors and fertilizer silos on it. So these boost it by quite a bit. If we take a look right here, this is producing 53 potatoes, 53. Now, if I were to electrify all of these schnapps distilleries, which I, of course, I'm in creative mode, so I can do these things. If I go ahead and I electrify that real quick, we can see that I'm taking up 48 out of 53. So I have a slight overproduction on the potatoes, but this is giving me 48 tons of schnapps 
per minute. So really, really nice setup right here. It does require a lot of extra input with the, uh, you'll need a fuel station nearby for the tractor barns. You will need uh, fertilizer coming in for the fertilizer silos. Of course, you will need electricity for these schnapps distilleries. And most likely you are going to need some fire stations because these suckers are going to be blowing up left and right. But this is a very, very excellent little setup. Now, just a quick note, and probably something I should have mentioned in the beginning, is that none of these include trade unions right now. Uh, trade union setups will be coming later on. So if you're good, before you ask them in the comments, what about trade unions? None of these include trade unions right now. Uh, trade unions, you know, you do that however you would like, but uh, no trade unions on these for the moment. This would be an excellent one to reconfigure for a trade union. All I would really do is move this guy out of the middle like that and stick me a trade union right there. Boom, done. Trade union, have your warehouses on the outside. So these things are very customizable. Last but not least, we have a mixed industry. Now, this is one I would probably personally use uh, the most for my stuff because it's easy to plop down and it has uh, exactly what I need for my farmers in the early game. Clothes, work clothes, and schnapps. All in a nice, tidy little bundle right here. Does not take up a lot of room. It's very quick and easy. I have exactly what I need. And you know what? It actually looks kind of cute. I will have to admit, I think it looks rather cute. So a very quick and easy, simple little thing to plop down to get yourself going with your farmers uh, and work your way into those workers really, really quickly. And there you go, guys. There's just a handful of quick and easy all-in-one production layouts for the farmer tier. All of these layouts did come from the wiki, so big thank you to everyone who contributed to the wiki for those layouts. They were very nice and easy to browse over there. The wiki does have even more layouts if you're interested in some other ones that you can see over there. I just chose some of the ones that I thought were the simplest and took up the least amount of room. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video where we will be exploring the worker tier and some stamps for them. Until then, take care.